Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate figure two uh, next. So um, the first step is B to G, which down here is B. We're gonna draw a long line up to G. Um, they want it to touch the C line and they also want it to be, in my case, 17 1 8 inch. This is a little tricky for me to do, but I will switch to the draw tool, the draft tool, letter D. And I'll say, okay, for the first anchor point, I want it just where I clicked it. They can create a point, that's fine. And then here, I need this to be 17 1 8, but I also need it to click the line. I'll try that. So when I did that, I'm in a tab that says to segment. Um, so it's talking about the next segment. I don't really care. I'm glad that the point is on the segment. So that's good because I could choose not. So I do want the point on the segment. So we'll leave that um, from point. Let's see if we can type in the length I want, which would be this one. Ooh, that was close, 17 inches, but I also want one E. So let's see if that will do it. Is it gonna be on my point still? Point on segment. And my length is 17 and eight. So I'll say, okay, cool. Is that really on the, doesn't really look like it's on the segment to me, but okay, so close enough. Um, I'm gonna jump from the next step, which is G to H. I'll come back and do G to H later. So I'm gonna go straight to G to I, which is our shoulder length. And they want that five and one eighth. They also do want it to, um, hit on the line as well. So maybe about here, I'll click. Um, okay, I'll go from point. We want it to be five and one eighth length. Okay. Um, to the segment, I mean, I do want the point on the segment. Um, so I guess, okay. Mm, not quite, but it's fine, close enough. And then now it does want me to square a 90 degree angle. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I don't have my point. I did have a line here, but I got deleted. But anyways, I'll just go ahead and click. And let's see here. We want 90 degree angle from, okay, let's do from our first point. Um, right now I'm at 94 degree angle. I can change that to 90. That does not look like a 90 degree. That looks bigger than 90 degrees. So I'm going to try hitting backspace or delete one time. I hit delete one time Um, here on my keyboard. Okay, so let's try that again. Honestly, let's, okay, I'm going to try like right here. Okay, so from our last point, what I did from zero, zero. Hmm, I think that's like 40. Oh dear. I really feel like from last point, we should be able to, uh, it says negative 58. And no, from, okay. I'm just gonna leave it. We want 90 degree angles, but I can go in and fix it later. I'll say, okay. And then now I'll just right click to get out of that. Okay. Let's see if I can select this guy, hit the letter A. Um, I'll just say, okay, we're fine. Okay. Moving on, um, this point was D. I can just draw a straight line out. I'll say, okay, this was actually from our last step. Oh, let me hit a D to draw. It got deleted, so I'm just adding this one back. I don't know why it got deleted. It was about three inches. So I'll say negative three, and this can be zero. And I'll right click. Okay, Um, we can go back to the step we skipped, which was G to H, G to H. So we're adding a point on line G. They want that to be our best depth, which in my case will be nine and one eighth. So instead of using the drawing tool, I can just add a point to a line that's already drawn. So I'll go ahead and do that, kind of eyeball it. I'll click right there. And I can actually now type in a nine and one eight, which I think is this one. Okay. 
Um, J to K. So they want J, they want a line going straight through where H is. Um, and they have a little formula. My amount is going to be three and seven eighths. Um, they want it squared out from J, straight line and go through H. Okay. So let's see, maybe I can do two things. I can draw um, with the D tool. I can click straight here just to kind of draw a straight line. Click there. Um, I will make sure my Y is zero. So I go straight across and I don't really care how long my X is right now. I'll say, okay. So that way I just have that line. Now I can try to redraw it. I'll say, okay, yes. And now I want to do a straight line that is um, three and seven eighths. So I'll just right click. Oops, just kidding. Let's try that. You know what? Why don't I change the length of this guy? Okay. So I can select him and I'll change my segment length. And um, right now it's 3.8, but I actually want it to be three and seven eighths. So I'm gonna delete this. I'll say seven divided by eight. And I don't want the curve to change. I, and I, I think it must be my second point. I want it to be horizontal. Okay, so let's try that one. Let me try apply. Nope, um, that's actually not what I want. It's the first one it should be horizontal. Oh, I might have to say edit undo because it didn't go back. So let me try refresh. Nope, that's not going to work. Um, I'll say close. And then I'll say control Z, control Z. Great. Now let's try this again. I'll select it, right click, segment length. Apparently it's my first horizontal point. I want to change that to three and seven eighths inch. I will say apply. Yeah, that's better. Okay, uh, close. Okay, um, so let's see here. D to L, they want um, oh, one half of D to J. Okay, so we want to break this line in half. So I guess I can hit A and just kind of click in it. And let's see don't have a thing to just split in half, but I can do math. So maybe I say 2.8. See if that does anything now. Try to, oh, proportional. Ooh, let's do that. I can type in uh, 0.5. There we go. Now it's split in half for me. That's perfect. Okay, so that guy's in half. Um, so that is letter L. L to M, that's gonna be our cross chest plus a quarter inch. So for me, it's six and three fourths. So I can change to my drawing tool, click on that new point, say, okay, go straight across. And we want to do six and three fourths. So negative six, I might just type in 0.75. This should be zero. So it's straight and say, okay. And I can right click, yes. Um, okay, so that was L to M. And the last step is B to F for our dart placement. We want three inches. So we're gonna find three inches on this line and we're gonna square down. So it dips a little, 3 16 inch below F. So I need to go, I'm gonna switch to the A tool to add a point and I want it to be three inches. So I'll change my, it looks like I eyeballed it and got it to about two. I'm gonna change it to three and say, okay. And then now with my draft tool, letter D, I'm gonna go straight down um, 3 sixteenths of an inch. So I'll click right there. Um, I actually want my Y to be, no, my X to be zero. And I want my Y to be negative three over 16 inches. Cool. There we go. And I can right click to get out of that tool, say yes. Okay, so that's the end of figure two.